good morning students in our today's virtual class we will be taking up a lesson from a course book it is from unit 2 section 1 and what is the topic a true story about ladybugs what is this ladybug ladybug have you seen we all must have seen this ladybug it's a small insect which is either yellow or red in color look here even the pictures are there of the ladybugs here yes ladybugs are these small insects red or yellow in color and they have black dots on their body okay let's see what the story says what would you do if some pests come into your garden now what is this word pests they are the insects which actually are harmful for our plants okay so what would you do if some pest come into your garden and eat up all your plants let us see how a special grandmother dealt with the situation dealt is a past tense of deal yes how did she dealt with the situation why i calling here special grandmother because she did something to get rid of pests in a very special way let's see how she does okay now once there was a grandmother who liked asparagus yes she liked asparagus it may seem silly but she really loved it that means it might seem silly to us that oh my god she loved asparagus but she really did okay now how do we know that she loved asparagus she want lots and lots lots of it in the breakfast with her eggs she wanted on toast with cheese for her lunch and she wanted also in dinner she wanted it with a special lemon sauce at the dinner time so all the three breakfast lunch and dinner all the three times three time meals she used to love having asparagus in breakfast with eggs in lunch with a toast on and cheese and during the the dinner time she used to love enjoying with the lemon sauce now asparagus is very expensive yes so what she decided she decided to plant some in her front yard what is yard yard is an open space and its the measurement is around 3 feet okay that's yard so she could have as much as she wanted so what she decided that i'll grow asparagus this plant in my yard as much as i want when you plant asparagus you have to let it grow and get strong for 2 years so for at least 2 years you will not get anything you have to wait for at least 2 years and before after that you can have before you can cut down any green shoots so the shoots start coming out after 2 years so what she did she just put this few seeds there and she just waited how many years 2 years she waited impatiently impatiently without patience she could not have that much of a patience because she loved a lot and she wanted them to grow quickly but that was not in her hand because it was about nature and nature works in her own manner so now what happened she waited impatiently for the 2 years to harvest harvesting means here this word harvest harvesting when the crops ripe yes when they ripe so we cut down and we use them so she was eagerly waiting for them to ripe and then she will harvest them to have the own asparagus shoot same thing happened okay the third year when the young shoots came up she had a nasty surprise nasty unpleasant okay something which was not pleasant what was the surprise which she did not like some asparagus beetles yes some asparagus beetles came along at same time beetles are insects and they are harmful so now what they did they had green wings covered with black spots 
their little eggs pointed out from the stems now the stems were out in the third year but along with them what did she found little eggs also along with the stems soon the eggs hatched hatching means breaking up of the egg yes and what came out black larva that's the life cycle that's the way the life cycle works of for insects yes from egg comes out larva and from larva either they changes to pupa or to an adult insect black larva moved slowly over all the new shoots and they did not only move they eat up the surfaces of the stems they munched up every nasty little sorry tasty little shoot look here just bear with me beta okay they munched up every tasty little shoot so munching what is munching this word munched to eat very slowly and making a little of noise yes munching they munched up very every tasty little shoot how frustrating now she was very annoyed my god i waited for 3 years and look now they are eating up this grandmother did not believe in using pesticides she said no i will not use pesticide to solve my garden problem she thought i'll look for some other idea okay she knew that somewhere in nature there was a creature creature means living being there was a creature who wo would want to eat these beetles she knew that there must be some creature who can eat up these beetles so i will not use pesticides i have to find out now what happened her friend at the organic farm organic farm where the vegetables and plants are grown okay they are used for natural by they just grown up by using the in natural way okay so now what she said she her friend at the organic farm told her that look ladybugs might want to munch those nasty asparagus beetle eggs and larva so she suggested her friend suggested that look i believe ladybugs can solve out your problem they can munch these larva and eggs okay and he told her what she could plan to get the ladybugs to come to her garden and she and he told that how that she could plant so that ladybug bugs will come flying away so what she did she planted purple and orange cosmos yellow yarrow parsley dill and tansy okay these all were the plants she planted to attract ladybugs and what happened by the end of the summer there were many ladybugs visiting her garden the ladybugs also ate the aphids on her roses okay so she just uh, planted those uh, plants for attracting ladybugs because she wanted to get rid only of beetles but they also ate up the aphids in autumn the last lady bugs of the summer burrowed down and hid in the leaves to hibernate now what happened when autumn came these lady bugs they just burrowed down they went inside the soil they hid in the leaves and why they wanted to hibernate now what is this word hibernate hibernate means when you go off for a sleep okay you must have watched during winters you will not find lizards roaming here and there because they go for hibernation they are cold blooded animal insects yes reptiles i can say not insects reptiles okay they are cold blooded reptiles and they go for sleep because they are cold blooded that's called hibernation okay so same with these ladybugs also went for the hibernation they wanted to be ready to wake up and eat the asparagus beetle eggs again in the spring so what were they planning these ladybugs planned out that okay we'll sleep for the moment we'll hibernate and then again in the spring we'll wake up and we will eat the asparagus beetle eggs eventually 
there were so few asparagus beetles that the lady got to eat all the asparagus she wanted eventually it, can you find out a word there event event mean it just happened that only few asparagus beetles were there so this lady thought if i will not eat up this asparagus again the beetles will spread and they will eat up the asparagus so what's the good thing i will eat it up eh? yes so she thought i'll eat up and the, the same she did she even gave some to her grandchildren okay ladybugs are part of group of insects called beneficials beneficials means something which is of profit yes what's the profit of ladybugs to us that they help us in our gardens by eating the insects that eat our garden plants the insects who eat up these plants ladybugs eat those insects so ladybug uh, is in a way protecting the plants from those insects okay it's mentioned here if we choose to use pesticide it will probably kill the helpful bugs along with pests yes but the pest usually come back faster than the helpful bugs and then we have more pests and fewer helpers so that is the disadvantage of using the pesticide okay so we will kill the bugs but along with bugs we will also kill the pests okay so what will happen the pest comes faster pest comes faster than these bugs ladybugs okay so like then we will have less of the helpers and more of the destroyers okay so the best way to work with nature is to make the helpful insects feel at home and they will do the work for us so she just thought okay let them hibernate on the leaves i'll not do any harm to them because in any ways next spring they will be again a help for me okay children so that was about the lesson go through the lesson do the reading to get the more confidence and to improve your reading part as well in case if you find there is something which you don't remember please let me know in your online class we will discuss the questions there okay thank you everyone